All right, so you guys probably watched my first video with uh, the 108 ELD and Varget. So today we're gonna go ahead and try to fine tune some of these loads. Now, in that first video, our top load of 33.4 grains shot about a, a three quarter inch group, 28, 15 feet per second with a 6.2 SD. So pretty good looking numbers there. And we're gonna try to fine tune that. Now we used a 1.990 cartridge based O drive in that video. And we're gonna do an overall length test where we shorten the overall length by five thousandths. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and do five groups. So we're gonna shoot from 1.1985 1 cartridge base to ogive down to 1.965 cartridge base to ogive. I didn't go ahead and measure these off the tip of the bullet because you've got that little bit of variance, but on the target here in a minute, you guys will see about what the overall length was. So same components we used in the last video, same brass. Let's get out on the range. And let's see if we can fine tune a group. Alrighty, we are out here on the range. Target is at 100 yards. This is my Seekins Havoc Hit, 6GT, 24 inch barrel, one and eight twist. Now we've still been fooling around with the magazine, still been having a lot of issues with the magazine. Um, but I think I've got this one tuned where it's gonna um, hopefully load all these rounds okay. Um, we're doing overall length test here. Now those numbers you see on the target are just kind of a reference. Um, I use cartridge based ogive to uh, push down five thousandths for each one. So we're starting at the longest, gonna shoot a four shot group because the gun is cold. So that first one we'll probably consider like a, uh, um, Cold bore shot, probably throw it out, unless it groups with the other ones. Um, we are getting velocity through the lab radar chronograph. It's a hot day, it's about 85 degrees with uh, pretty high humidity. As you can see, we're shooting off the bipod again. Now I did uh, kind of modify my bench to uh, be able to fit the bipod more in a correct position. So hopefully, um, this is going to be what we normally, the configuration we normally shoot the gun in with the bipod, kind of in this position, and the rear back. Armageddon gear, game changer for a rear back. So let's go ahead and see if we can tune this load. All right, so uh, really no impact change with the cold bore. All right, so that's an awesome start there. Um, kind of nice that it turned out to be our four shot group too. Gives us a little bit more information that uh, probably even with five, uh, that's probably a darn good load. Uh, velocity looked really consistent too. Let's see where we were at there. He shot about 28.15 before uh, when I shot this load in the last video. Different overall length, but let's see what these ended up with. Yeah, so 28.12 with a 6.2 SD. Pretty much exactly what we saw the last time we shot this load. And uh, Again, it looks like I finally got this magazine tuned the way that it was uh, should have been sent to me from the factory, but um, a lot of messing with the magazine catch, and I did have to do some work on these speed lifts here. I have ordered uh, another magazine, uh, an MDT, to try as well. I think that's going to feed a little better than this magazine, but so far so good with those four. All right. Move it to the shorter overall length here. This one's just a three shot group. Really nice looking group there too, which tells us that we're in a decent node, probably. Velocity was identical pretty much. Yeah, those three averaged 28.11 with a 1.7 SD. So again, that first first load was what, 28.12? Um, and then 
that one 20 and 11, so extremely consistent. Going to go ahead and start a new series. I'm going to shoot the next group by 5,000 short. So another look, good looking group there. Velocity not quite as consistent on those though. Now this is new brass, right? This is, a, we're fire forming this brass still. But let's see where our velocity was. Our average is probably about the same, but we had 11.4 SD. So again, not terrible, but we were 28.06 with 11.4 SD. So not quite as good for velocity consistency, but realistically 11.4 is still not bad. And it's just three shots. Okay, the barrel's a little warm, but it's not too bad. Um, we're going to go ahead and shoot these next two groups. As you guys can tell, I think I do finally have this magazine tuned, which took, well, like 60 rounds, kind of messing with it to really get it the way that it should feed really nicely. So hopefully my new magazine will be a little bit easier to get to run. So it looks like we're starting to leave that node, that accuracy node we were in just a little earlier. We are seeing a little drop in our velocity, which is pretty consistent with what I've noticed when shooting uh, shorter overall lengths, which is kind of the opposite of what I would expect, but I'm guessing it has to do with getting further from the lands. I actually have no idea, but it's the only thing I can assume, because that one was 2796 with a 9.9 .9 SD. And again, the barrel really is warming up, so you might expect more velocity, but uh, okay, last group here. Again, the barrel's a little warm, but we're going to go ahead and shoot them. It's just three more shots. And uh, if all these feed, that's going to be 16 rounds in a row that's fed really well, which is a new record here. Like I said, I spent a lot of work last night working on this magazine and the magazine catch, really trying to get it to, to feed. And again, we're seeing that drop with our velocity. Hopefully you guys can see that there. I tried to set up my camera so you could see the lab radar. It's probably not in focus, but probably make out the numbers. So, again, one accomplishment here, 16 rounds fed without a hiccup with the magazine. Um, good looking groups over there. And I think our velocity just dropped a little bit as we went shorter and overall length. Yeah, we had 2792 feet per second with an 8.5 SD. So really good SDs across the board. Looks like really good groups too. Let's get over there and check it out. Alrighty, so pretty good looking target here. Now, our first load of the day was a four shot group at about that 2.5 cartridge overall length or 1.985 cartridge base to ogive and we shot an excellent 0.22 inch group 28 12 feet per second with a 6.2 sd then we moved on we pushed down five thousandths and we shot 28 11 feet per second with a three shot group 1.7 sd and a 0.32 inch group so looks like a really good node there to um, really probably fine tune this load Moving on, another 5,000 shorter, we shot 2806 feet per second, 11.4 SD, and another good looking group at 0 0.37 inches, and then another 5,000 down. We shot a 2796 feet per second at 9.9 .9 SD, the biggest group of the day at 0 0.48 inches, and our shortest overall length today, we shot 2792 feet per second, 8.5 SD, and a 0 0.36 inch group. 
So awesome looking groups across the board. It looks like that best load is going to be somewhere between that that longest overall length and that second longest. So somewhere between 1.985 and 1.980 cartridge based ogive. So seems like a really good load here. Um, after we get all this brass fire formed, which we're almost there, we're going to come back and reconfirm this just to be sure because this may be a load that we need to uh, write down and keep in the books. Um, brass looks pretty good. No issues there. We don't expect anything. Again, we talked about this in the last video. We're about a grain below max. And the magazine, for the first time, finally fed the way that it's supposed to. Now, again, I had to use sandpaper, a little bit of a Dremel, to really get those feed lips pointing the round up so they don't want to nosedive. And I also had to really, really fine tune the magazine catch. So I'm hoping we finally have this worked out. If not, I do have another magazine coming. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Really enjoyed shooting these small groups. And we'll see you next time.